Hey there, everybody. Today I have the Quantum Batman watch from Undone. Now, if you haven't seen this watch from their promotional material yet, this is in full collaboration with DC. It is an all new case. It is titanium and there are going to be two versions. This version is just listed as the standard version. It'll run $650, and then there is an all-black version that is limited to 500 pieces, and that'll be $800. There's a lot to like about this watch, a lot to discuss, and hey, if you're a Batman fan, you're definitely going to want to check this out. And even if you're just a regular old micro-brand watch fan or dive watch fan, this watch has some nice features to it, but let's get into all of that and let's discuss it. Here's the specs coming on the video now. Catch you in a minute. All right, before we get into the review of this Undone Quantum, let me go ahead and remind you, if this is your first time here, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Not only does it help the channel grow, but, well, it helps the channel grow. So appreciate you hitting subscribe. That way you never miss any of our content. And hey, if you want to see more about what we got going on before you see it here on YouTube or our website, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. So, getting into this Undone Batman watch. So, obviously, if you're buying this watch, you're probably a fan of Batman. Now, it is a really nicely designed and good-looking watch, aside from it being a Batman watch. I'll get into that here in a minute. Let me discuss first what you see the packaging below the watch. That is not how you'll receive it. It doesn't come with little cheap plastic batarangs. I ordered those from Amazon as props for photography. And I don't actually have the real packaging that this watch would come. It kind of came in press packaging, which kind of confused me, especially for a you know uh, a comic book piece like this and a limited piece like this. I'm I'm not sure why they just didn't send along the packaging. Maybe they didn't have it ready. But the packaging that you're going to see on screen right now, that is the packaging that you will receive uh, with this Undone Quantum Batman. So let's go ahead, let's jump right in. So what you have here is a case that kind of reminds me, well, especially the the, uh, the bezel and the bezel insert, that remind me of the original Undone Aqua, their first watch uh, uh, released uh, almost four years ago, I think now, four or five. And very similar, if not almost identical bezel and that bezel insert with the relief numbers and everything. And I really like that look I always have. But you have an all-new case, and this is quite a large case. Now, it's not large in the normal sense of this is like a 47 millimeter watch, but due to the unique case design with all those angles and the hooded lugs and everything else, if you measure straight across from the left side of the case to the right, including the crown guards and everything, you're looking at about 47 millimeters. It's not exactly a small watch. It is not a massive watch, but just so you know, when you see pictures of it here or the video of it of it on my wrist, I have a seven and a half inch wrist, so you can kind of gauge uh, how big this watch actually is. One thing of note as well, so it's kind of a larger watch. Now it's titanium, only weighs about 80 grams, so it's very lightweight, but it's a larger watch, and yet, it's a very, very short strap. And I'm just not sure why this strap is sh uh, so short. But moving on from that, it is a nice strap as well. And there is a nice custom buckle, as you can see. So I don't have a problem uh, with that. I just wish it was longer. It barely fits my wrist. And I don't consider myself to have that big of a wrist. So there's a few things about this watch, though, that, um, well, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to pick it apart. <laughs> so when it concerns the dial, I do like the dial, and I like what they did here. Uh, I like the look of the dial. I like that it's skeletonized and then tinted, and you can see the date under it, and you got that little 
date marker running around the dial there in yellow, kind of, you know, for Batman with the yellow. So I like that. But when it comes to the Batman symbol, that's where I have the problem. To me, it needs to be bigger. Now, I know some people are probably going to like the fact that it's subdued, but if you're a Batman fan, you don't care what you're wearing. You, you, you want that Batman symbol to be a little bigger, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're a Batman fan, do you feel that this logo should be a little better, uh, a little bigger? Let me know. But I personally think it should be a little bigger. And the other part of the problem with the dial is, and you can see this just from looking at it, even with all the lights on here, is going to be the loom. Now, and it was my it was my mistake. I really didn't pay attention to the loom shots of this watch uh, before they sent it to me. And I was, listen, I was hoping for bat signal type of loom. No, I was not expecting the loom to actually jump off the, the dial and it, you know, uh, go onto the wall or anything or project onto the wall or anything like that but I was really hoping for bright loom and for that kind of city looking grid dial to light up a lot more and of course that Batman logo to light up a lot more and the simple fact is the loom is poor there's just no getting around that so those are the problems that I personally have with the dial now when it comes to the case and everything I really like this case design. Um, you know, it's still a dive watch. It's still a 200 meters water resistant. Your sapphire crystal. You saw all the specs. Very, very easy to grip bezel. I have no problems with that. I like that it's titanium. Uh, I think I would love to see this case design. I don't know if this case design has to be exclusive. Uh, I don't know what kind of deal Undone signed. But I would love to see this case design used in other variations with regular dials. That's just me. Now, as I said, there are two versions of this Undone Batman watch. One being this standard version with the bead-blasted gray titanium. And the other, the all-black, and that's limited. And that is $150 more. And it's, you know, the all-black DLC. There's another thing I take exception with. Now, I get it from a marketing standpoint, and who knows, maybe that was, you know, the people at DC, they wanted, you know, a limited, or they wanted two versions, or I'm not sure what the reasoning it was for. For me personally, and I know, you know, between the comics and TV and cartoons and the movies, there's a million different uh, variations of Batman. For me, when I think of Batman, I think of all black. I personally just like the all black version. I don't see the need for this bead blasted version, but maybe they decided to do that just because some people don't like all DLC watches, but then they went and made that one limited and $150 more as well. So maybe it's all marketing in the end. Either way, you have the two versions. Now, both versions are going to have that Seiko NH35 movement. And if you just watched the last video review I posted, well, you know, I'm not going to take it easy on that. Now, the last uh, watch I reviewed on the channel and posted here, very different watch compared to this one. And I get it. There's, you know, it's an all new case design. There's licensing fees. I get all of that going on when it comes to designing a watch, especially a watch like this uh, with the comic book theme and the Batman theme. I get it. Uh, I'm not going to say that I give it a pass. $650 and $800 is still a lot. For the NH35 automatic movement. I guess though. To, I, I don't want to give it. I'll give it a half pass. How about that? I'll give it a half pass. On using that movement. Would I like to see a better movement? Sure. Would most of you. Uh, watch enthusiasts. Want to see a better movement? I'm sure. I'm going to bet that a lot of people. That are Batman fans. Don't even care about the movement. They're just going to like. We want the Batman watch. It's a really cool design. Whatever. Uh, I, I wish there was a better movement. That's all I could say, but I'll give him a half pass on it. But as I said, as a whole, I, I do like the way they did this watch. It's not overly gimmicky or anything like that. And I guess maybe that go, you know, like goes back to what I was saying about the, the Batman logo being on the dial. Maybe that's a good thing that it's not. Because if you just see this on somebody's wrist, you're not going to necessarily know it's a Batman watch. Uh, obviously that you have the big Batman logo on the case back, but nobody's going to see that. Um, it's very subdued on the crown. 
there's nothing on the buckle that says Batman. And then, of course, you just have that Batman logo on the dial. So maybe that is what they were going for, a watch more that anybody would like to wear. But you can, you know, represent Batman while you do it. So I do like this watch. Obviously, as I went through, I wish there was a few changes about it. But, hey, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this watch. Uh, if you're a Batman fan, not a Batman fan, if what do you think they should have done different to this watch? If you don't like it at all, whatever it is, obviously be respectful, but let me know what your thoughts are on this Batman Undone Quantum version, the standard edition. Uh, obviously, I don't have the uh, DLC one in hand, but let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll talk to you on the next one.